right. Well, we are back here with live election coverage on RCTV of the April 7th, 2015 election. As we're waiting for some of those precincts to be tabulated, we mentioned before about some of the uh, forums that we did, the candidates forums that we had, and we have some behind the scenes footage yes. of the candidates <laughs> forums that we want to show you and kind of see kind of what goes into producing one of these candidates forums. It's so a great experience. The, the staff and everyone here has really been be very supportive. Right from our there are a number of development potential um, for the state of you yeah. determine what kind of cuts would have to be made? Um, well, first of all, just a, a little very quick, because I know I have two minutes, about sort of how our budget gets constructed every year. Um, though it is important because it's really the, the foundation on which everything else of the town government is built. Probably the best thing that we had was when we would share copies of the document with various boards. What do you have here tonight? Yep, the Old Reading Butcher Shop. We're having um, entrees that we do serve, pulled pork with cornbread and our homemade meatballs, or made in the shop meatballs. And what would you say is the, the, the customer's favorite menu item? We've had very substantial regeneration of funds, and that complemented with our conservative budgeting has led to real growth in our cash reserves to nearly 10% at the end of fiscal 14, and they'll probably be in the 8% or so range at the end of fiscal 15. Oh my God, he talks constantly. I mean, if you want to start a conversation with him, he will actually talk back to you. When we got Wadeka, he didn't want to, when we met him at the kennel, he didn't want to associate with people, didn't want to associate with dogs. Nobody knew what he'd be like. Breeder asked me if I could pick any dog in the whole place. I looked at my wife, I said, we came here for that dog, he's ours. You know, you always see people out, there's always people running. Um, so what is it um, about Mystic Runners? What's the, what's the purpose of Mystic Runners? Well, obviously we're a group of people that like to run, and we like to uh, keep healthy, and being part of a group makes that easier. It keeps people honest, and also you get a lot of encouragement from the other, from the other members. And as an organization, we also like to give back to the town as well. Especially Lou and Elaine from Management mm -hmm. in Reading. Um, and what have we made here today? Because uh, I know this was the California monkey roll. Right. Yeah. And these were the special uh, spinach wrap. Spinach wrap sushi. I think that that issue, though, speaks to a comprehensive health program, yes. which we heard in, in community forums. We're yep. hearing desire across the board for, for better, more comprehensive health curriculum. Um, I mean, how much of that is teaching a kid? How many kids know how many hours of sleep they're supposed to be getting a night and explaining what it does to their brain. So I think this is something that could really fall into the category of, of health. There's a lot of great work going on in the community level, for example in Reading with the Reading Coalition Against sure. Substance Abuse doing fantastic work. Mm -hmm. Um, so those are just a few of the, the different things. In the first five years, through a result of all of our different programs, we were able to reduce underage drinking by 5%. That's where I really developed my, my uh, conducting career. Uh, mm -hmm. On 
uh, alongside the MIT Summer Philharmonic. Uh, so if you're familiar with Town Hall, the town clerk's office is where I'm located in the back. Okay. So you go to the town, the window of mm -hmm. the town hall mm -hmm. um, of the town clerk and you ask for me if I'm available, I'll come meet with you. Oh, sure. And we also um, d uh, deliver emergency medical services to okay. the public. And then our other major function is emergency management. Uh, another mm -hmm. song here as we're joined on the set here by Mr. Jubal. Um, in the house here again of, of Ryan Hummel. Um, and you're going to play for us Reds and Yellows. Absolutely. This when I get back, it will be falling. You will be all I have. We are true. Eight, five, four, four, seven. And you are watching RCTV. What the? Huh? Oh, nothing. Just, um, your hair it looks so pretty in the moonlight. The moon's not out yet, silly. Yes, yes, I know. But if you stand here and wait for the moon to come out, it can shine through your hair and then it'll look pretty. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna kiss you now. Okay. Is that Cleo? God, she, she's making out with some guy. Wait. The pass, a little bubble screen. Number 12 throws it up, and he finds a man. Gets past Zupan. He's got first down and more. Number 22. He's dragged down by B.J. Gemilaro at the 15-yard line. Hello, children, and welcome back to Story Time with Winnie and Nan. This is Winnie, and I'm Nan. And the theme for today's show is all about winter. Dappled deer wander, making no sound. They rest closely knit. We have some people who have been behind the scenes. We have uh, Kevin and Trevor, right? Trevor have been doing some technical stuff for us here. And we've got uh, John and Steve. They've been running cameras all over the place today. And who's behind me? Mark? Uh, not Mark. Paul. Paul, Paul is behind me. Sorry, Mark is his son. <laughs> Paul is behind me here. And he's been uh, helping out doing various things. And, and uh, it's been just a great group to, uh, this year. Running yep. the, the, oh, of the, course, we have Luke, who's, oh, who's been editing. Luke, Luke and is over here. Luke organizing is, us. There he is from behind <laughs> us. You think not having an in a negative way. Um, like apps like Google Drive and other stuff are really helpful for school and if I didn't have Google Drive I would be such a mess. Not that I am not a mess but like if I didn't have Google Drive it would be chaotic and sometimes it's good to have limits but sometimes you have to teach yourself how to be limited. As a senior in high school my parents shouldn't be babysitting me on something like that. So if you notice, if something's outdated, we'd like to have it removed. So this is the before and after. The verticals were very outdated, so we just took them down and threw them away and just framed the window with uh, drapery panels. Um, so we want to make sure, and also we moved and positioned the furniture because we knew we were going to stage the patio. So we, we moved everything strategically so that when they first entered the condo, they could see right through the slider onto their patio. Start with the jump scare. Um, I hate jump scares, just in general. I, I guess feel, so. I feel like you just can't I, have. Okay, so here, here, here a cheap jump a, scare is terrible. Here, if it's, here's an example of an of an older movie using a jump scare effectively in a newer and like contrast with a newer movie. In the movie Halloween, there's a scene where one of the characters is is worried that that something's going to happen to him, and then his friend comes from behind, puts his hand on his shoulder, 
and then he looks back and, and then sees his friend and is really Very scared. Exciting. And, and it got me thinking about the number of championships that the Red Sox have won. Nine championships over the last 14 years here that we've had with our professional sports teams in Boston. And in fact, since the year 2007, all four of our professional sports teams have made it to the championship round or the championship game at least two times. So, in the last so what are you dressed as, Emily? Uh, I am dressed as Elsa. Cool. Do you, do you have a favorite part about Halloween? Going trick-or-treating. Do you get lots of candy? Yes. What's your favorite kind of candy? Uh, jelly beans. I am so glad that you've joined me. Thank you for having me. I've wanted to have a show with you for the longest time since you know, you've been staging for me for many years. And I love when I can just call you and say, Karen, you know, the house needs this or it needs that. You come in and figure it out. And the best part is you say staging on a shoestring, and you really mean it, because I think people don't understand. I think they think that staging is like interior decorating, and it's not, because selling a house is not the same as living in a home. Oh, no! part of the batch and we bring it to an old-fashioned candy hook which is how it's been done for over a hundred years and the hook itself is probably close to that age. Next roast, third one in line, is a top sirloin. We're getting into the sirloin category, so we're talking great flavor here, great versatility, just a, a fabulous roast that you would have no trouble having all of your guests enjoy at the dinner table. Welcome to the Lego Winter Village. This village has buildings and attractions constructed entirely out of Lego bricks and is populated by Lego minifigures. Each triangle, you're going to do a layer of brown sugar. It's approximately a half a cup of brown sugar, but you can certainly do it to taste. And just put a thin layer of brown sugar on each triangle. So we're here at the Reading Holiday tree lighting, and it Santa has arrived. Yes. The enthusiasm level is extremely elevated as the big man has arrived to the scene.